Sunday pay-per-view events, certainly the No Limits X Division is one of the strong points that established TNA as an incredibly hot property. Tonight, and against all odds, we will spotlight the high flyers and the risk takers with two very important matchups. Later, the X Division title, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels in an Iron Man match. But first, it's an X Division shootout involving this man, the former champion, Team Canada Captain Petey Williams, who tonight can take a major step in regaining the title for the Canadians and his coach, Scott Damore, who suddenly find themselves without any gold. Say my name, prime time, baby. Well, Mike, today, here comes his challenger, prime time Elix Skipper. Elix Skipper wants to do what Christopher Daniels is trying to do tonight, and then establish himself in the X Division. He knows that he can come out here and beat Petey Williams, a man who held the X Division belt longer than any man for one period of time. If he can do that, he goes a long way in impressing the director of authority, Dusty Rhodes, about his place in the X Division. You're right about Petey Williams, the longest reigning X Division title holder. There he is in TNA history. Held that belt for five months before running into the phenomenal one AJ Styles. Don, you talked about the NWA director of authority, Dusty Rhodes. To me, he's dangled the carrot. Next month's TNA pay-per-view. Circle your calendars already for this one. Sunday, March the 13th. To be known as Destination X will feature that amazing high-wire spectacle known as Ultimate X. Dusty announced that four men will compete in that matchup that separates the X Division from anything else in our profession. He's gonna be monitoring this match, this X Division shootout very closely when it comes to selecting the individuals who will buy for that X Division title next month at Destination X. I wouldn't wanna have that job right there, Mike, today because we know how many great athletes have come through TNA and are a part of TNA. <laughs> it, that includes the X Division. These are two of them. Later on, you're going to see AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. We've seen so many other greats in that six-sided ring, but that's what makes total non-stop action special. That's why I love the fact that this is how they started against all odds tonight. The high-flying, fast-paced action of the X Division in Elix Skipper and Petey Williams. Elix oh. Skipper with a drop kick directly into the chest of Petey Williams sends him out to the arena floor at the impact zone. Wise on Petey Williams' part right there. He let his momentum carry him out of the ring. Get yourself together, regroup a little bit. Enix Skipper's got a little bit of size on him, maybe a little bit of strength, but Petey Williams is a warrior. Don't deny that for any second. He's also got Scott Demore in his corner. Keep your eye on him. Elix Skipper, a former NWA World Tag Team Champion, but never X Division Champion. However, back in his resume in the year 2000, he was the WCW Cruiserweight title holder. Well, this guy has got all the tools. I mean, there's no denying it when you look at Elix Skipper. He's got so much strength just like that as he just sends Petey Williams over the shoulder there. He's got so much agility, so much finesse. This guy's the entire total package. But Petey Williams has been there before. He's held the belt. He has beaten the greats in the X Division, and he kept that belt for so long and he wants it back. Skipper actually, though, has an experience edge, and you talked about the total package, calling himself pound for pound, the best there is in the wrestling business. Petey Williams, just a three-year pro, and just 22 years of age from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, right across the border from Detroit, Michigan. I think that's sometimes something, Don, that we don't even think about. Petey Williams, just 22. Oh, he's so young, so talented, and we've seen so Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, the cheap shots right there. The only good thing about that one is it obviously hurts Scott Demore as, as he hit the iron-like body of Elix Skipper, but that's just what I'm talking about. And oh, what a great move by Petey Williams over the top into the Hurricane Rana. That was awesome. You're right, slingshot into the Hurricane Rana, and then Skipper goes crashing into the steel guardrail. I'll tell you what, though, that's what Scott Demore did right there, distracted Elix Skipper. Gave Petey Williams that chance, and he almost got the pin right there. I think the strategy here for primetime Elix Skipper is pretty obvious. Avoid at all costs the Canadian Destroyer. Oh, absolutely. I've, I've never seen anybody get up from it, and that's one thing you've got to avoid. And Petey Williams right now has got the advantage, and again, Scott DeVore is distracting the referee, and Petey Williams is going to take advantage of it right here. And he's, look at this, the Canadian National Anthem uh, as well. Oh, uh, you saw where he placed his foot right there to cause the pain. 
just every dirty trick in the book these guys from Team Canada will use, and they don't need a mic. They're good enough athletes. They don't need to have to go that route. When it comes to the strategy for P.D. Williams, I would say also avoid the play of the day, but I know you had a conversation with Elix Skipper earlier, and Primetime told us that he's got a new move that he hopes to be able to use against Williams tonight. I can tell you what, I don't know what it is. It sounds devastating, but it's something he's excited about he, because he knows he's got to have something new, something fresh. You've got to have something that nobody has seen before. If he gets a chance to use it, well, that's, that's going to be determined later on. Primetime coming off a recent victory on our Impact broadcast on FSN, winning a three-way match over Shark Boy and the former X Division title holder Chris Saban. But boy, Elix Skipper has been in trouble here until trying to mount a comeback now. A series of forearms attempts to shoot Williams off into the turnbuckles, but boy, he put on the brakes. Oh, nice kick right there by P.D. Williams. And look at right there, as you just saw. Elix Skipper showing his agility as he just kind of matrixed out of that right there. And P.D. Williams missed him, but there P.D. Williams comes back and just slams his head to the mat. This X Division, Don, is just incredibly competitive. Almost as if you can use that old cliche on any given night. Oh, absolutely. I I've never seen a, a division where the emotions are so high with each athlete that, like you said, on any given night, someone else can take over, and that's the Elix Skipper we're talking about. Did you see the streak? Did you see how far he threw P.D. Williams across the ring? We gotta see that again. Look at this. Double underhook. Wow. Butterfly suplex from the top. My God. Oh, he's strong. I know he calls himself pound for pound the best in the world, but you know what? He's going to have to win some extra titles. He's going to have to maybe win a heavyweight title before he can make that claim. But he's showing us just how good he is. Pair of clotheslines, spin kick as well. Williams trying to hold on for dear life. Look how agile Petey Williams is, though. But man, Elix has got a hold of him again. Look at this. Oh, put him on top of the rope. Just hung him out to dry, inverted suplex style. Skipper to the apron. Here he goes. The top. Oh, did you see that? I saw it. Guillotine leg drop. Here's the cover. One, Here's two. two. Oh, Williams fights out of it. What a way to start the action. Oh, that would have been such an important win here if he could have gotten the three count because keep in mind in this X Division shootout, the director of authority, Dusty Rhodes, keeping very close watch on this match to see who wins, to see who loses, to see who might be a part of that incredible ultimate X oh, match. What a counter yes, right there. PD cover, legs hook. Okay, PD Williams amazes me. That's what I'm saying. I know we don't like Scott DeBoer, we don't like what Team Canada has done out there in the ring, but P.D. Williams is an amazing athlete. Nobody will deny that. One of the best, I believe, one of the best exhibition champions we've ever had. Check this out. Williams straddling oh, no. that top rope. Skipper! Oh, oh. My. Did you he, see that? He held onto the rope. He wouldn't let him do it. He, what a great counter. He went to walk the ropes and snap off the Hurricane Rana, but P.D. Williams with the perfect counter, able to hook the top rope, and they're gonna, oh, he does, he answers. Spiked him with that tornado DDT. I'll tell you something right there, the momentum is completely changed. P.D. Williams fired off. He's reeling it in. He blows right there. Here he goes, Canadian Destroyer. Here he comes. Oh, he blocked counter. it. He blocked it with the back body drop. Whoa, look at this. He went for the POD. Roll up, Got him. P.D. Oh, just two. Roll up attempt by Skipper. Oh, they're just fighting it out right there as they're emotionally spent. Oh, Skipper trying to hold him down. Petey fight for everything. Well, you get that. You're ready bridge down on the pin attempt. Blocked again. Oh, just rammed him back first right into the corner. It just became a brawl right here as you saw the elbow right there by Skipper. Prime time trying to put him away. What's he going to do right here? Oh, he missed again! Went to spring off the ropes, tried the drop kick, but you notice that Petey Williams just leaned back to avoid the contact. Petey Williams is baiting him up there. That's twice he's baited him up there. Trying again to go. There he goes, wait a minute. Wow! There it, that's it! That's gotta be the new move! One, two, two, and it is! Say it! Say it. Say my name! Prime time, baby! He calls that sudden death! And that's what it was for Petey Williams! It was the end of the match. Primetime just waiting for him to go into that Canadian Destroyer and set him up for it. NWA Director of Authority, Dusty Rose, has to take note. Primetime, Elix Skipper gets the win in the shootout.